Yeah, thank you, Kareen. Uh, what is the White House's reaction to environmental activists critical of the Biden administration's approval of the Willow Oil Project? They argue that the president has undermined his own goals uh, on climate change in approving this. So a couple of things there. Um, look, the president, uh, you know, when it comes to, you're talking about the Willow Project? Yeah, the Willow Oil Project. Look, the president kept his word when he, uh, where he can, where, where he can, by law. Right. Uh, that is important to note. Uh, and uh, as the Interior Department said, some of the company's leases are decades old, granted by prior administrations. The company has a legal right to those uh, leases. The department's options are limited when there are legal contracts uh, in place. For example, the DOI solicitor under uh, President Clinton uh, and law professor at U.S. Hastings said they have lease rights and that can't be ignored. That's a big figure uh, on the scale in the favor of development. And so I'll, I'll leave it there. But again, the president is uh, delivering the most uh, aggressive climate agenda in the U.S. history, and that is going to be uh, his continued uh, uh, his continued commitment to the American people. And so is it the position of the White House that there was no other option other than approving the uh, permits for the, the project? Well, I just laid out. There was, there were those, uh, uh, the le there was legal right to, they had legal right to those leases, right? And he, the president's going to do what he can under the, uh, as the law permits. And so, again, this is a president who's delivered on the most aggressive uh, climate agenda in the U.S. history, and he's going to continue to do that. And do you 